Hi there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. Today we're traveling to a Florida tiny house community to meet up with Susan, who is searching for an affordable housing solution after retirement. She'll talk about her experience working with the builder to design a custom tiny house, discuss how she's future-proofed the space, and of course take us on a tour of her perfect forever home. Before we jump right in, if you like videos like this where we showcase stories of people living alternatively, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time we publish a new video. Hi, I'm Susan and this is Marshall. Welcome to my tiny house, my dollhouse. Before I got this house, I was a dialysis social worker. I just couldn't take it anymore basically and I wanted to retire and the only way to retire was to sell my house and go tiny. And so that's what I did. I researched it. Two years later, it's home. I love it. I wanted something that would be a forever home for me, so I invested a lot into the design of the house. I wanted that feeling of brightness and airiness. The process took a few months until we had the design that we were all happy with. It was about a year process from beginning to end. Because this is a custom build, it was a little pricey. It was $160,000 total. I think it was worth it. I think the house came out beautiful and the quality of the build is exceptional. I'm, I'm glad that I spent the money. It just feels like home. We're here in Circle Pond in Ruskin, Florida. There's 12 tiny houses here in the property. The rent here is $500 a month. It covers electricity, water, sewer, garbage. It's a very affordable lifestyle. The house is 32 feet long, eight and a half foot wide, and 13 and a half feet tall. The reason I chose the flat roof is because it just gives me a lot more space in the second floor in my loft and it just gives me a lot more space on the sides as well whereas if I had the other type of roof I think it would crowd me in. I thought this was a better choice for me. The windows give me a lot of light. When you open up the windows and you get that fresh air coming through it just feels really nice. I hear the birds and it just it feels good to have that as a background. This is where I have the storage for my propane tanks. There's enough storage for two tanks. I have a tankless water heater. It's a hit or miss with the hot water. I just have to make sure like before I wash clothes or before I do dishes that I turn the water on and wait until everything gets nice and hot before I start the appliances. All right, let's go over and check the deck out. I had this deck built mostly for my safety, really, but it creates a very nice space to just sit and be out in the open and get some fresh air. I love the porch. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's perfect for one. Welcome to my dollhouse. I'm a tiny person and this is a tiny house and it just feels like I'm living in my dream dollhouse. This is my beautiful kitchen. It's very comfortable. It has a huge sink. It has a lot of storage space, actually more than what I need. It does have a full stove, oven, but I usually use my air fryer, it bakes, it grills, it does everything. I chose this particular layout because at first I wanted a U-shaped layout, but I found that it closes you in too much, so this just opens up the space. 
I kept a few things that are very important to me. I have in particular that purple vase that was my grandmother's. It's very old. It's got to be at least 100 years old. I keep it safe in the back of the shelf. This window is great because not only it gives me a great view, but also it gives me great light for my orchids. One of my favorite parts of this kitchen are the way the cabinets were built is my Lazy Susan. I love it. Not only because my name is Susan, but it, it, it just works so well for me. Uh, and there's so much space. The fridge is, I guess, what you would call an apartment size fridge. It's perfect for me. Next to the refrigerator, I have an awesome pantry. It has pull-out drawers. It stores just about everything. This table is a, a great, great addition to the house because it's so versatile. It's something that I can move around. It has another leaf that can open up and it has all these drawers for storage. This is my living room. This space is very, very cozy. This couch opens up into a queen size bed and it also has storage. So under here I have um, extra pillows and blankets and stuff like that. And I've been told that it's very comfortable. It's great to spread out and watch TV and the dog really enjoys it here too. This is my dog Marshall and he's part of, uh, part of the household. He's always here next to me. I also love the fireplace, especially on cold mornings when we come down and have coffee. I turn on the fireplace and it just feels great. You know, you're all cozy here with a blanket and the fireplace going. The ambiance is awesome. When I lived in my house in Orlando, I had a lot of different artwork all over my walls, but I could only bring a certain amount. There's not that much room here for, uh, for hanging stuff up. So these are one of my favorites. The top one is a dog. It's muzzled tough. Opportunity knocks. And this one is my favorite, flying chorizos. Let's head down to the other side of the house, the other end of the house, the bathroom. Getting to my laundry area, which is right in front of my bathroom. I have a washer-dryer combo. It is not vented and it takes three hours to do one load of laundry. So this is something that I would definitely change if I had to do it over again. Otherwise, everything's great here. I have a lot of storage space. And uh, let's, let's head into the bathroom. It's very comfortable. I have a regular flush toilet. I'm on a septic system here. I wanted to do uh, something special with a sink and I, I found this and you know I think it's beautiful. I love the colors. It just it's a pop of color in the bathroom. I have a huge shower. I love the functionality. I actually had grip bars put on the shower because I figured this this would be a, a, a good idea. It's very functional, it's very pretty and I love the shower. I have this um, storage space down here, which used to be the place for my cat's uh, litter box, but she passed away. So now it's, it's just a great storage space. Now we're going to walk up to my bedroom, but first I want to mention that the stairs were made especially for me because I'm short. I am 4'11". I used to be five feet tall, but now I'm 4'11". So I asked to do the steps a little shorter than usual so that I wouldn't have to struggle climbing up and down the stairs. And also, um, I'd like to mention all the drawers here, which I have storage for all my um, supplies for my dog and my electronics and, and papers and it, it's just super, super handy and just a great addition. Another um, thing that Movable Roots did for me was install these railings. I asked them uh, to do that for me for my safety again because of my age. So 
along with the shorter steps and the railings, it just works really great and it's, um, I feel a lot safer. This is my bedroom. It is a loft, but it really feels like a bedroom to me because I am able to stand in all the levels of it. This is another reason why I feel like I'm in a dollhouse because it is the perfect size for me, but it seems like it's all like miniature, you know? This is a queen size bed. Next time I think I, I'm going to get a full size bed because it, this is just too tight of a space. So when you're making the bed, and I'm sure you can imagine it, it's, it's hard to get into these corners. I'm planning on the full size, uh, on a full size mattress. It'll make it a lot, a lot easier for me to move around. So I have my little built-in wardrobe here. Um, it has a lot of room for clothes. I have a lot of drawer space for, you know, everything I could possibly need. One of the greatest things about living tiny is that it affords you financial freedom. You can live much more comfortably with much less money. I don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning to go to work anymore. I don't have to deal with traffic anymore. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to make the mortgage payment. That's a huge thing for me that I don't have to worry about that. It changed my life in that sense. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. It's my forever home. Thanks for watching this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to see a tour of this tiny house community, make sure you check out the link we have in the description, and I will see you soon with another unique home tour.